these drywall claws might be taking over drywall anchors, so stay tuned. Hey there friends, welcome to Fix This House. If you're new to the channel, consider pressing the subscribe and notification bell so you can always be in tune on DIYs, how-to videos, and product reviews that I do within this channel. Now I know we like to hang things on our wall, including myself, and if, especially if you have drywall, we go with our good old faithful drywall anchors. Now I found this product right here, it's called the Claw by 3M, and I wanna go and test these out. I know they come in different pound ratings, so I built this mock-up right here, right behind me, and we're gonna go test out how much weight these hooks can actually hold. So if you're interested on these kind of tests, I also made tests on drywall anchors, if you'd like to look and check out those videos after you watch this video, check out these two videos right here. I make tests on all these different types of anchors, drywall anchors, hooks, and so forth. Make sure you check them out after you watch this. With that being said, let's get to this product. Let's go an overview before we get testing. It comes with five 15 pounds, four 25 pounds, and one 45 pounder. So friends, like what I do with all my videos, if you're interested on this product, I'll leave all the links on the description down below. There are claws that are, you can just buy the 15 pounds, 25 pounds, and 45 pounds separately. So all those, don't worry, I will link on the bottom. Check those out when you get a chance. So just to let you know, I am not sponsored by 3M. I bought all these hooks with my own money so that I can test it out and show it and create this video so I can inform you on if these are really worth buying. Looking at this mock-up that I built, this is half inch drywall, 16 inch centers. So this is like a mock-up of a real wall. So we're gonna go test it out on this half inch drywall. What I have here is your typical picture frame. This is about three pounds and it's a sad one because it did crack. This is the ones that you find where it has these teeth right on top. If you wanna hang this to the perfect spot that you want on your drywall, it does come with this accessories right here. And let me show you. The kit does come with all these little sponges with the double-sided tape on them. Find the middle of the teeth. So we're gonna place that right in the middle, like so. I'm gonna take out the backing on the other side. Find our place in our wall, make sure it is nice and leveled. And then once you push, there's the spot that you want. Now you're gonna take your pencil and you're gonna mark the dot underneath the chevron and then you can just easily take that out. Now you have the spot where you're gonna hang that picture frame. Place the dot right underneath that cutout and then 3M is claiming that you can just push this with your fingers. Can you really? So let's go and push it in. There you go. And perfect, nice and centered. You have a perfectly hung picture frame. So now what if you have a picture frame like this that does have a string? Now this one is like a 3D picture frame. This has some weight into it. I'm guessing this is about five to 10 pounds. My wife actually saved up all the roses I gave her while we were dating and she is using this to save all of it, which is very thoughtful and sweet of her. You're gonna pull this up. You can even take measurements of the frame, find the center and go that way. We're gonna mark a dot right there where it peaks. Take your chevron and place it right on the dot. Find a place on the wall that you like, boom. You are gonna go mark the bottom of the chevron. Now this one, I'm gonna use the 25 pounds, which is this one, where the cutout is underneath. And then we're gonna push it with our thumb. There you go. Hang it nice and even. 3M Claw gave us only 145 pounds. I'm gonna place it on this part of the drywall. And you can still push this with your thumb. I'm gonna put 15 pounds, 25 pounds, 45 pounds. We're gonna conduct our weight test. Now to fully conduct this test, I made these steel wire hooks and we're gonna hang them up on each one of these, like so. And we are gonna go and suspend all the weights under there, going from 15, 25 to 45 pounds. Holds the 15 pound weight. It's held up so far. I have here is a 25 pound plate. 25 pound weight. Ooh, 
Throw it in there again one more time. Again, be very careful. Do not try this at home. This is for entertainment purposes only. That's 25 pounds. It held the 25 pounds. I don't know why that happened, but take note. I'm not cutting anything out of this test, but that one failed on the first one. So be mindful of what you're hanging around here. Now let's go with the 45 pounds. Dumbbell, 45 pounds. You can see they're all dangling. It's actually suspended. They're all moving. What happened with that 25? Maybe I just put it on an angle or it was put wrong, but it didn't hold up that 25 to the first time. We did it the second time and it's holding pretty well. Okay, now we're gonna test out its limits. Let's go to the 15 pounds. For the 15, let's go put 20 and see if it can hold up to 20 until failure. To 20 pounds. Okay, looks like 20 pounds passed. 25 pounds. Okay, it failed. So it actually only supported up to 20 pounds. It failed at 25 pounds. So max 20 pounds. But even at 20 pounds, I'm still iffy. I'm not gonna load that thing with that much weight. Let's go now with our good old 25 pounds. 30. See if it can hold 30 pounds. Here's 35 pounds. So let's go to 40 pounds next. What I got here is 40 pounds. We're starting to see that it's starting to start pulling out on the drywall. If you look at right there, if we observe, you can see it's starting to pull away already. Push this in a little bit, give it a benefit of the doubt. Let's move over to 45 here. And it broke. 40 pounds, so that's the max. Sorry to interrupt your friends, but if you're finding this video super helpful and you're liking this video so far, please hit that like button and subscribe button down below. It'll greatly help out the channel. That being said, let's get back to the video. 52.5, which I'm gonna max out my dumbbells. This is just for entertainment and test purposes. Do not try this at home. We're just conducting a test here. Now I'm at 52.5. It is suspended at 52.5, friends. Now let's take a closer look what's happening to the drywall. Look how much it's starting to tear off already. And it's snapped. Do not hang anything above 45 on this. That's a lot of weight. For myself only, I would even go at 45. To be safe, I would just stay within the 30 mark for this type of hook. Even this one, I would go below what is rated. There are many factors when it comes to drywall and you never know. It depends also on the thickness of your drywall. It depends on the humidity level in your home because humidity will affect the, the strength of your drywall and so forth, how old, and many other factors as well that will compromise the strength of that max on these hooks. So there you have it friends. We conducted the test and they do not lie. Now my thoughts on these 3M claws. Again, you have to consider that what drywall you're using. It depends also on the thickness of the drywall. We're using half inch. What if it's a 3 8 or a, a 5 8 drywall? It all depends on the weight size as well. So you got to take that in consideration. Also, take into consideration the environmental factors. Some drywalls are exposed into humidity. Some got wet. Some are a little bit pulverized or crushed by different types of factors and they're not as strong as brand new drywall. Is would I trust these cloths to hang heavier items? I think I am more comfortable on using drywall anchors for that matter. But for these, these are made for picture frames and other things that you want to hook like coats. I don't think you want to hang anything that are like 50, 40, even 35 pounds in my honest opinion on these little hooks right here. It just doesn't make me comfortable. I would go with the drywall anchor route. Okay, friends, that's just my honest opinion. One thing that I do like about this is that it does leave minimal amounts of holes on your wall. So if you're on a rental or you're in a place where you are limited on hanging stuff on the wall and you wanna fix it right quick, if you use drywall anchors, those will leave a really big repair mark that you'll have to fix later on. But for these, 
These have these little tiny claws that will leave like a pinhole through your wall. So it's easy to fix after you take them out. So you can just take a little bit of spackle and rub it on the drywall and it should disappear just like that. So that's just my opinion on this one. This will be a good rental friendly thing that if you are just, you know, if you're very limited on the things that you are gonna hang on your wall. This is actually really good in hanging picture frames and anything that probably around the 20, mark, 20 pound mark um, to be on the safe side. Again, friends, it's totally up to you where you wanna apply this. Um, it, there's many applications on it, but if you are interested on hanging heavier items, I did conduct a test on drywall anchors on which are the strongest. I made that on my last video. If you're interested in that, check out these videos right here on all the tests that I did, especially this video right here where I did the drywall anchor test on the strongest drywall anchors. I think you'll like that video after you watch this one, okay friends? So let me know in your thoughts down below, which ones would you actually, would you actually try this 3M claw? And have you ever tried it? If you have experience, um, good or bad, leave it on the description down below. I would love to see your comments and share with your experiences with the community on what you think on this 3M Claws. Again, if you're interested on this product and all the products that I use within my video, I'll leave all the links on the description down below. Thank you so much, friends, for staying within this video and checking out the test that we conducted. Again, I appreciate all the love and support. Please, if you found this video super helpful, Hit that big thumbs up, press the subscribe and notification bell, and I'll see you friends on the next video.